energy. Shout out my YouTube channel, Talent Tough. Yeah, um, shout out to Talent Tough. Thank you. Follow. Right then, guys, welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. As most of you will know, the administrators spoke out yesterday for the first time, really, since taking over the other day. And Rooney spoke out also about administration and everything like that. Just a few things from what the administrators said. Obviously, they said that we've got round about six people interested since the administrators have come in which they're working on on the buyer, the, the right one as well. They're expecting or hoping that we get a buyer by January. Um, that's, that's when they're hoping to get it done. Also, they've stated that they don't want to sell any players in January, which will be good because, you know, we've got some important players. We don't want to be losing these, especially when we've got a relegation fight on our hands. You know, we can't afford to lose these really important players. And I don't think many would want to go anyway. But, yeah, if a big club, club come in, obviously, then they would. Um, They're unaware of how much debt we actually owe at the minute. But, you know, it's quite obvious we owe a high debt to HRMC. That's where the most important debt is. And they're the club. They're the company that could um, potentially liquidate us if we didn't work on a deal. I think we will, but obviously... It's dangerous showing, you know, 25 million to to them. But yeah, six people have been interested in, in taking over. Uh, hopefully one is someone with a bit of money that can clear up the debts that we owe. You know, this is what we need. They also are going to be potentially appealing the points deduction, the 12 points we got for administration. They are going to try and appeal it. Obviously, if we do win that battle, then that would be good with the fact that we could get nine points deducted on top of that. So, if they can appeal that and win it, you know, that <clears throat> that would be a good thing. I think it's good that now we also will get a lot of our debt sorted out, you know. The, obviously, it's never nice going into administration, but with the mess that Mel Morris got us in, this could be a good thing. You know, we've got debts here, there and everywhere. We've also got a stadium that's not owned by the club. We've got a training ground that's not owned by the club. So, you know, if this owner can come in and take over it all and have it all, and even if we don't do anything for two years, you know, we, we need to get on a steady ship. And I think the main thing is is making sure that we still have a club three months down the line. Um, In terms of Wayne Rooney, <clears throat> I don't think he really had a good word to say about Mel Morris, to be honest. Obviously, it was stated that communication wasn't, um, there was no communication. Rooney also said that at one point he had to pretend to use the doctor's phone just to get in contact from Mel Morris, which is poor. You know, you've got to feel sorry for Mel Morris if that is, uh, feel sorry for Wayne Roos, sorry, if that is the case. You know, he's had no communication and he's been having to keep fighting a losing battle, I suppose. You know, it, but with the administrators in, They've been in contact with the players, the staff, Rooney, all within um, a couple of days of taking over, really. They did state as well that Rooney's job is safe, which I'm happy about. You know, Rooney's stuck by us throughout of all this. I hope that, you know, at the end of it, he can get good support from an owner he deserves. Um, You know, Rooney, I think, with a bit of money, with a bit of support, can take us in the right direction. Um. <clears throat> So yeah, that was that was that. Um, you know, we've got obviously debts here, there, and everywhere, and the administrators are having to borrow some money alone to pay the wages next week. Which, as long as we pay it, we need to pay the wages on time. That's vital because if we miss a a, a payment or anything like that, don't forget we do have a suspended three points deduction on top of that. So if we miss the payment, you know, we've got another. Three points deducted on top of this. Um, and then we've got <clears throat> the potential of another nine points for the financial breaches. So, um, hopefully that these players can get things sorted. Um, then I'm happy with these these um, new guys that have come in because they're communicating with the club. They're getting the ticket office open so that fans can communicate with that. Um and I know, obviously, things aren't looking the best, but for the future, things could be good. You know, we've got a lot of interested buyers wanting us, which, you know, that shows that 
coming down the line we could be in a better place. But yeah, if you listen, if you haven't listened to the interview, the full interview from Wayne Rooney or the administrators, that is all on. Um, that's all on BBC Radio Derby. You can still watch the full interview. So if you watched it, comment your thoughts below. If you haven't, go watch it, comment your thoughts below. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank <laughs> you.